power of life groups is not the guarantee that you're going to show up and after two times over the course of four weeks, you're going to be best friends with everybody in the room. The guarantee of life group is not that it's never going to change. The guarantee of life group is not that you're going to have 90 minutes of uninterrupted time from your kids so that you can go deep in the Lord with some other people. (laughs) That's not where the power of life group is. There's no secret sauce. That like, I'm standing up here and saying like, Antioch's found the key. To, I'm talking about, I'm just reading the Bible. And it says go day by day. And I think that's where the power of life group is. The power of life group is in the day to day. Life group becomes powerful the moment you make it a priority. You. You've got to do it. And there's time for you to come in and test it out. Please check out life groups, all that kind of stuff. But to step into it, it takes a choice. Every single one of us has to make this choice. Either I'm making this a priority or I'm not. As I read through these verses, Acts 2:42 through 47, I keep seeing this word that I never really noticed too much until recently, and it's been speaking to me, and it's this word, they. Profound, right? They. They keep showing up in these verses. They, and I've been asking myself, who is, who was they? Who was they that they're talking about? We're, this early church, this Acts 2, 42 through 47, rah, church. They did it. They changed the world. Who, who was they? Were they pastors, church planners, professionals, experts, academics? And then I read Acts 2, 1 through 41, just before these chunks of verses, and it's pretty clear who they were. They were just people, turns out. They were, uh, they were just people. They were from all over the place. Uh, so I'm assuming they kind of all had different professions. They probably had different accents and different skin colors and different life circumstances. They probably came from different socioeconomic backgrounds. They probably had different jobs and opinions and philosophies about life and how it should go. They... We're just people. They weren't like, they didn't get together and be like, all right, guys, we're the early church. Assemble the Avengers. You know, like, we are the heroes that people are going to be reading about for centuries and millennia to come. Good thing God chose us with our powers combined. They were just people. People who got together and were like, what are we doing? I don't know much, but all I believe is that there was this man, Jesus, and I believe he was the son of the living God. And I believe he lived a perfect life and he died a death innocently volunteering. And I believe that he didn't stay dead. He came out of that grave because I saw him. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, me me too. 500 people. Yeah, we all saw him. I saw him and then he said, he's gonna go away and send us another. And we were like, no, please don't. And then he did go away and then he did send another. Do you remember that a few days ago? The whole like fire and wind and preaching to a whole city and stuff. And we started spending like eight hours baptizing those 3000 people. What is this? I I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I believe it. I, I, I believe it. I believe that God started something. And I don't know what else, but I believe it's mine to carry. 